Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Lauren. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're having an amazing day. Today we're gonna be talking all about the new beauty launches. You guys know how I go. We do this all the time. You guys love it, I love it, and I'm excited to see what's come out. Kind of some of my thoughts on those products, kind of deciding why I like them, maybe why I don't, if I wanna shop my stash for something similar, if it's like something that's pretty much going on the buy now wish list type thing. If it's something that I'm like, hell no to the no, 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 no. Anyway, okay, <laughs> I did do this look. If you guys want a video on it, it's either coming or it's about to come out. I'm not really sure which one, but I do a shop my stash type thing. So be on the lookout for that or it will be down below. But before we get into the video, today's video is sponsored by Skillshare. They have been a great sponsor of the channel this year. So if you guys don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community where people can come together to continue their creative journey. Skillshare offers classes for all skill levels and they can fit into any schedule. There are tons of classes over there, whether you're interested in learning to do photography or any type of camera work, editing, illustration. Skillshare's classes are a great way to stay curious and explore new skills with thousands of classes and new premium classes launching all the time. There are so many paths for your curiosity to take you down. And I have to recommend once again, the class from Rich Armstrong, let me get it right. It's the perfect 100 day project. And the reason I keep recommending this class is because I just keep thinking about it. After taking it, I feel like the lessons that you can learn through this class, which is all about learning to be creative for 100 days or doing some type of 100 day project. He's talking more in like a creative field, but just something about the idea of like 100 days, picking something, sticking to it, building these habits has really resonated with me. So um, I highly suggest that class if you guys are going to go over there. And if you're interested, the first thousand people to click the link down below will get to try out Skillshare for a month. You get a month free trial. So if you're gonna do that, definitely check out that class. I think you'll really enjoy it. But yeah, thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. And thank you so much for your guys' support. It really means so, so much to me. So let's get into the new beauty launches. I really feel like this top looks good on camera, but I'm telling you, the boob situation is a situation. In my head, it's been forever since I've done one of these videos, so bear with me. But the first thing I'm seeing on trend mode is the Kylie Cosmetics. It's like her birthday collection, 24 karat birthday collection. I don't, okay, I'm still like kind of unsure what entirely is happening with the rebranding and I, whatever. I don't even, I don't know. I just don't know. But with this collection, it's like a full on collection like Kylie does. Um, I think that the promo photos are fine. I think I've been more attracted to maybe some of the other birthday collections though, a little bit more. I don't know. This one's just really relying on that gold, which I think is something that on the other hand though, like on a more positive note, is something that someone could buy maybe in this moment, but because it's more neutral and golden colors, maybe would be something they can incorporate into every day. If they don't have a golden highlighter, this could be the one, you know, that type of thing. I mean, I love the sparkle. I feel like Kylie gives good texture on some of her stuff. The big thing, the palette, honestly looked a little cheap to me. I, I don't know if it's the golden background. There's something about a gold like that with the cardboard that can look a little cheap cheap if not done really well. And this picture I'm looking at to me, it looks like a little bit more on the cheap side. I also feel like it's just a little bit bigger and there's something to me, again, I've been more into the small palette, so maybe that's why, but it just feels a little outdated and yeah, cheap overall. I like those yellows and oranges. There's something really fun about those. And I even like the tones of bronzes that are in here, but definitely not tempting at all for me at all. <laughs> but that is coming out. That is something happening. <laughs> Next, there's something from Charlotte Tilbury and this is the Super Nudes Collection, 90s inspired. There's a face palette, which it looks like honestly all the other face palettes she's come out with. I'm not really, you know, surprised. I don't know, it just looks the same. Not that it's not pretty. I mean, I have a very similar one from Becca, like back in the day, the Chloe collection. Looks very similar in, in the way that this is, but I'm not at the moment tempted by these. It says there's four shades of them. I don't see those colors, but it says there's four different options. There's some lipsticks, there's this like mini eye palette and I, it mostly looks matte. So I'm actually not attracted to this or tempted more. It's like, it's fine, whatever, but I don't think that I will personally buy it. Although I will say I have been more into these kind of smaller luxuries. I don't know, you guys, I don't know. That's the, that's the mood I'm in, the mode I'm in, the trend, I, I don't know. <laughs> phase, maybe that's the word I'm looking for. 
sure. So yeah, surprised I don't like it actually more. Um, yeah, not tempted, which is good for me and my wallet. There's a new scent from Sol de Janeiro. I've kind of just moved off the Sol de Janeiro stuff. I'm not as into it as I used to be. So um, I'm not tempted by that. Also, really, I'm not into body splashes anymore. So if I'm gonna invest in a fragrance, I do want it to be in a glass bottle. There's, again, that moment, that touch, feel, sensory thing of, of how it looks, how it makes me feel um, that I like. And so I would way rather like save up, buy a really nice perfume in a glass bottle that's gonna look nice with my other perfumes. Something that I've really taken time to contemplate and make sure it's a scent that I'm gonna wanna wear every single day or could wear every single day. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. I would definitely be getting like samples before I bought this perfume or buying like a roller ball to really test and see how that fragrance wears on me because perfumes can be expensive. So anyway, I, I'm just not a body splash. Like I don't want the plastic thing. I have the old body splash, like the original Boom Boom scent. And um, I have that still. And I've had that for years and years and years and years. It's like in my bathroom. So um, yeah, I don't want another one hanging around that long. Not tempted. <laughs> Next, this is from uh, Profusion and Mean Girls. I mean, it was only a matter of time before we got the Mean Girls collection. This is not what I want. <laughs> I imagine, I think, okay, this is me just telling you what I wish, but I think it would be so cool to have like a Mean Girls collab that's like maybe six pan, really cool, like nice packaging with some really pinky kind of Barbie shades, really going off like the burn book. Like I get that inspiration and I would love to see that. And yeah, like maybe a little bit of frosty. I don't know, just something small though. It doesn't have to be so big. And I think that's some of my issues. Like this palette's just massive. It's just rainbow, which if you don't have a rainbow palette, this might be a great one to get at a price and you're getting the Mean Girls. Like there's tons of different people out there. There's tons of different makeup collections and collectors and whatnot. But again, we're talking about from my perspective, what I want, this is not what I want. So I'm not tempted to buy it. I want just like a little bit more attention to detail. I feel like the, um, you know, the mirror is kind of cute if you were wanting something as more of a, you like the stuff. But then they have like that face palette and you know, it only has the three colors. So that just looks like, I don't know. That looks like 2011 to me. Not into it. I do think the lip gloss and what is that? Lipstick maybe? Yeah, not really sure what that is, but the lip colors look like the movie. I think those look actually pretty good. I like it in the tube like that too. I feel like that makes sense with the collaboration. And then there's these smaller palettes as well. I just don't personally get it. Like there's a Regina George and yes, there's a pink in there. I don't know. It's just half ass to me. To me, to me, to me. I know that Profusion is also a more affordable brand though, so I'm sure they were trying to keep costs cheap and all of that as well. So more than anything, just not the collab for me and I am not tempted to get it. ColourPop is coming out with some more eyeshadow and blush quads. I actually, I'm tempted to do, I have like this video in mind specifically for ColourPop and trying some palettes and, and doing like this whole thing. Maybe like, let me know if you'd like to see something ColourPop. I definitely don't buy a ton of ColourPop. Like that is not the majority of my collection. And I'd like to try a few things and I think it'd be fun just to see like, was I missing out? What do I think? I don't know, have an idea in mind. Let me know if you'd like to see that. But I think these quads are nice. They're all matte, which I think, you know, is a very useful thing. And I like this new packaging that they're coming out with. I like it. It reminds me of kind of what I like from some higher end brands in some ways. Like I've been loving the Natasha Denona mini palettes and although these aren't like, you know, rectangles, these are squares, same feel, same vibe. And I like the smaller configuration. So I'm not a matte girl though right now. So I would not pick up the matte quad. And I was looking at some of the other quads that they have, but they all have glitter. One of the shades usually has a glitter in it. So I'm still waiting for the ones for me. <laughs> They're not there yet, but the blush palettes look pretty as well. Not necessarily super tempted by those as much. I'd rather get something with like better packaging. And I don't know, just more of the, the feel Feelings, the fantasy and all that. But um, how are you guys feeling about these smaller palettes? I'd love to know. Also, let me know if you would maybe be interested in ColourPop. I know it's like a huge brand. I know that it's a lot more accessible and all that. So yeah, let me know. I just haven't tried anything that, that new from them. Next, this is something that's actually more exciting from Beauty Blender than what we tend to get, which are just like new versions of Beauty Blenders for the season. Like now we got a pastel yellow. Now we got a mint green. Instead, we actually have a new product. 
product. These are the Bounce Liquid Whipped Cream Blushes and there's four different colors it looks like. I don't love the color selection, like that baby pink, uh, I don't really love. So I'm not tempted. I think that though new beauty blenders coming out with the blushes does make sense because it's a color product. So I don't know, I kind of get that. It's okay, I think it's very timely right now. If they're gonna come out with cream blushes, now is the time. I just, the color selection. I love these neutrals. Like I love the that berry, but I just want a little bit more brown. Like, ah, can someone just come out with like a range of neutral blushes, like from light to deep and just like, and they're nice and like brown and neutral and so like velvety and you just want to like, oh, that's what I want. That's what I want. So yeah, or bright. Like I either want it bright and like oranges and like poppy colors or I want those neutrals. I don't want those colors. There's a perfume coming out from Too Faced. This is inspired by the pink mascara. Okay. It, it's looking like Juicy Couture to me, Viva La Juicy moment. <laughs> it's $105, holy cow. Um, no. I mean, I haven't smelled it. Maybe it's my new favorite scent, but mm, not really my thing. Not my thing. I'm talking about perfumes. That's not the one. <laughs> That's not the one for me. Okay, next from Natasha Denona. This is the new uh, Smoke Vision collection. I think the mini in there is called Xenon, and this is like your classic black, gray, silver, smoky eye type of palette. Now, if you need that, you don't have that for some reason and that's your eye look, this might be perfect for you because it gets you that look. I don't do that look like ever. I'm not really into it, but this to me is very Natasha Denona. She loves her eyeliner. She loves these kind of smoky looks. Like this seems so Natasha Denona to me. So I like seeing her come out with something that I feel like is very her. Not tempted at all to get it, even though it is a mini, even though I've been into the minis, this color story. I will never use this. I will never use this except for like one time, but that's it. And I'm not going to do it. So I'm not getting that. Um, but I think it, you know, it makes sense again, if that's your thing. A little palette that does tempt me. This is from KVD. It's the mini planet fanatic recyclable palette by KVD. I think this is really nice. I have the first one that they came out with. I got it on sale like way after the fact and I like the shadows in there. They're very like luxe and high end in that they're kind of like washes of color. They have some really nice sparkle and I really enjoyed that one. So having like a smaller version of that, I would be definitely interested in. So I have my eye out. Although I will say some of these colors are kind of looking like similar color stories. So I wish they would be a little bit more clued in on what the vision is. Like what's the theme of this palette and what makes it different than the past ones that you've come out with instead of what feels like they keep coming out with these like quote unquote well-rounded palettes where there's like a color, like there's a cranberry and maybe a navy and there's a bronze and a gold. But if you have all those colors in every palette you come out with, you know, let's tighten up the vision and I think it will make them look different, which would make people want to buy all of them instead of feeling like they have all of them by having one. But I saw my eye out on that. Ooh, I really wanna get this product. This is something I've been into. It's a whey product and it's by Redo, maybe is how, I, by Redo? I don't know who that is. I don't know what that is. I don't know what they're collabing with. If it's a person, I don't know, but I want this. It's a leave-in conditioner and I've been using the whey leave-in conditioner and just like a sample that I got. So I'm like, mm, I think I'm gonna try this one and replace it because I've enjoyed it so much. Oh, I think it's a scent. I think it's just a scent. Well, this is my style right now. This is what I want. I want the leave-in hair conditioner that's nice. And especially because I'm almost out of my little mini and I've enjoyed it so much. So that one, I probably will get. I've been definitely like, for things that I'm like, mm, I kind of want that because of the channel. I've I've been trying to switch my mindset a little bit that like part of what I do is like talk about new stuff. <laughs> and um, it's nice sometimes to actually have like real life tangible reviews to give you guys, like instead of just only having, you know, talk talk, you know? So I probably will get that one actually. It's something that I could use, it's useful, and I'm excited about it. This palette from Vanity Makeup, this is pretty. It's a neutral palette, but I do like seeing the textures 
of the shimmer shades. Then they have a whole row of mattes. That's something I'm not interested in. I just bought the Patrick Ta, which I feel like is a similar concept of like the mattes and then the shimmers. Different colors for sure, but yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get this. It's $95. I find that quite a lot of money. But I do think the packaging looks nice. Again, just too big. Like I want a six pan. I want smaller. I want maybe even that many shadows, but all tiny. Like. We just don't need that much shadow. I want tiny stuff, so no, I'm not gonna get that. Chantikai. Okay, maybe I should try some Chantikai stuff. Maybe I'm finally there where I can get a couple things, but there are two new eyeshadows, I believe. One is Wild Bronze and one is Regal Emerald, and they're like all tiger and like big cat type themes. The green is really actually pretty and quite, I feel like an interesting color of green for a high-end luxury brand to do. I feel like they don't do color all the time. So when they do, usually that can be like, you know, that's the exciting moment. I don't feel tempted to get those personally, but you know that elephant palette they had and I was tempted to get it back in the day. That's something that like today, if that came out, I would probably just like get it. I would try it to be like, ooh, I wanna try this brand and see what it's like. That is where my style is going at the moment. I still love my indie shadows. I still love all that color, but I'm just way more tempted than ever before by like the actual, like the weighted packet, like, I don't know. I think it's from having the makeup bag. I'm telling you, having a little makeup bag where each piece is something you use quite frequently and it really needs to hold up and it needs to be something that is usable and, and you're using it every day. There's something about the luxury aspect for me has made it like more worth it than ever before. Whereas if you're just using it for color and you're like at your vanity and you're only gonna use it this one time for this one look, it doesn't matter as much to me. You know, it just depends on how I'm using my makeup, but since that's how I've been using my makeup, I've been more attracted to it. Long story long. <laughs> There's a new thing from Tatcha. This is the Overnight Repair. I I don't know. Tatcha's not a brand that calls to me nearly as much as like Glow Recipe or some of the other like, you know, even Pharmacy. I, I, I feel like those are the brands that I keep my eye out on. Like Pharmacy, Glow Recipe, that's really it. Those are the two. <laughs> so I'm not tempted by that. I know it'll be so expensive. This Gucci Flora perfume bottle, I think is just stunning. Like I feel like this is very much my style in that there's something about it that's like very vintage looking with the type of botanical print that's on here. But then you have that pop of solid pink that does give it something a little bit more modern. I just, I love it. I love that. Oh, imagine that as a wallpaper with like a bright orange velvet chair. <laughs> I love that, oh my gosh. So um, I don't know what the hell that smells like. My light turned off, let me turn that on. But I do really enjoy the packaging, I really do. Okay, Saved by the Bell, Wet n Wild, they sent me this collection. So I have this entire thing, but I think that I'm just not, I'm, I was born in 92, so this really isn't my jam personally. So yeah, I don't really know, like I don't know if it's hitting the themes, I really don't know. So I don't really feel like I can give any type of real commentary on it, but let me know if you guys like that. Do you feel like it like did it well, did it justice? I'd love to know. I do like the blush duo. There's one that's pretty neutral and I like that. <laughs> I like that blush duo. I think I might pull that out, but it also like, I think it has the characters on the packaging and I'm just like, I don't know you. I don't know. I don't want you on my blush. Like that's how I feel. And so it makes me like realize like for anyone who's not into whatever collaborations going on, <laughs> if they're not into the collaboration, <laughs> You know, whereas like if someone is into it, they might love that that's a part of it. So I don't know, it just gave me perspective on someone who might not like like the Powerpuff Girls, but then <laughs> Colourpop does the Powerpuff Girls. So you know what I mean? I don't know, anyway. There's some more new things from KVD Beauty. These are the ModCon Liquid Gel Contour. I, this could be good, I don't really know. I'm not really in interested, honestly. I don't know why in that, but I don't want those. I don't know what it is. I just, they look difficult to use immediately. Like, like it's a stick like a contour stain like they look like the Benetton but I I don't know I'm just like just looking at them I'm immediately turned off <laughs> and like not tempted don't want to buy Ooh, this is something that mm, I it's a bigger palette doesn't fit any of the other things am I tempted yes this is from Beauty Bay it's the wilderness palette it's 
$15. You can't, like the price you cannot beat. I have the uh, Magic, Book of Magic palette. That's what it is. I have the Book of Magic palette that I got for like seven bucks on sale, like right before it sold all the way out. And there are some really great shimmers in here. So I think those textures of those shimmers, there's something about this, the richness. I just, I just like it. I really like it. I don't, think I'm gonna buy this because I know I don't need it like I know that it's just like a thing to collect like I realize that and I know that the colors are just serving a fantasy so I'm trying to be good I'm probably not gonna buy it but man the price the price point I like the color story going into fall like I think that it's pretty I think that they're serving some nice color stories over there and really it's like what makes it so different like I don't know, but there's something different to me about that than like even how Kylie's looks. Kylie's like, her little shadows are getting lost in the cardboard. I, I don't know. Anyway, anyway, there's just something missing with design, you know? Next, this is something that's like a little bit newer. I think it might be Kaima Cosmetics and there are some really beautiful shadows. Like these to me are selling the fantasy. These are like, you know, the texture of the shadow in the pan and then the swatches. They've done an amazing job selling these. I will say, I will say that I'm a little like, these are some low light photos, okay? Like it's a little bit dark in this room. We're, <laughs> we're underground. I don't know where we are. We're like have one little light source here um, and it makes for a beautiful photo. But I think that there's a part of me that's like, I wanna see these in regular lighting because I really wonder how many of my own shadows that I already have could look like this if I did this technique, which maybe I should do that. Maybe I should test all my shadows and try to like create this thing. Let me know if you'd actually like a video on that, but it's beautiful. They've done the marketing really well. I just would hate to like get these and it not quite, I'm sure they're beautiful, but if I already have stuff that's really, really similar, I don't know. I, I think that the low lighting is just like making me kind of a little bit like meow, 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 you know? Because those sparkles look great, they do. The sparkles look so pretty, but I think that a lot of the shadows that I have could sparkle like that. But they've done a great job translating that sparkle if they are that pretty. I don't know, let us know, Have you? do you have them? Did you buy them? Do you have them in your hands? Tell us what they are, if they're good. I'm not gonna get into this too much, but if you didn't know, Pat McGrath did come out with the Hutopian Dreams palette, and as much as there's a few colors in there that I do think are really pretty, I was a bit let down, as you guys know. If you haven't seen that video, I will leave a link down below. So I won't be picking that up, but I really thought it was gonna be, the, I really thought it was going to be the palette for me. I thought for sure, uh, but no, alas. I will not be buying it. What else is there? A new fragrance. It's like time of fragrance. I guess we're getting into holiday almost already. Uh, but this is from Ariana Grande. It's a fruity musk. I'm not interested. The bottle's kind of different, but not interested in that really. Fenty's coming out with a perfume. Oh my God, everyone is coming. It really is every single person. Nope, I don't want it. Oh, I, I don't know if I've talked about the Care Bear palette from Violet Voss. This is something that, I mean, oh, just so close, but not it for me, not gonna get. You know a brand that I feel like I'm gonna start revisiting a little bit is NARS because I do think that maybe some of, of their stuff would be up my alley right now with like what I'm into. So yeah, maybe that's a, a brand I'll, I'll revisit. I wanna try some of the foundations too. I never tried Sheer Glow like in my whole life. So maybe I'll hmm, look into that brand. Anyway, I feel like overall, let me get in the middle here. Like my excitement for makeup is definitely back. Thank the Lord, because sometimes like, you know, makeup is like, who I am and it's been who I am for 10 years. Like <laughs> I went to makeup school, all of it, you know, like I love it and sometimes I just go in phases and this last one I was like, who cares? Like, oh. and I'm so glad that I'm back to liking makeup but I still don't like everything, you know, and that's how it is. Sometimes lots of releases come out that you're really excited about and sometimes there aren't. And right now I'm kind of on my own trip too. I feel like what I'm interested in isn't necessarily the brand new releases. It's more like looking in and kind of delving into brands where maybe I wouldn't have been interested in before, but kind of am now. So anyway, let me know what you're interested in, what you've bought lately, what's tempting you, what isn't, what you thought was bad. <laughs> I'd love to know any of it down below. And of course, if you have any reviews for anything new that you've tried, leave them down below too. I'm sure we'd all love to know, but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me, talking the new makeup. I really appreciate you guys being here. But other than that, thank you guys, and I will see you in the next video.